Welcome to our season finale of Road to the Ship and welcome back, Bobby Loboy. Yeah, it's great to be back. Shout out to Kira who killed it last week for baseball and softball. This week, we're serving up recaps from the Division 1 and 2 semifinal and championship matches for boys volleyball. Unseated St. Louis wins their first ever Division 2 state championship while Kamehameha is unable to dethrone Punahou. They win their 10th consecutive and 39th state championship. Unreal. Before we jump in, we want to say mahalo to Pro City Shopping Center for sponsoring our show. In the first HHSAA Division 1 semifinals of the night, it was a showdown between two of Hawaii's best, the undefeated and number one ranked and undefeated Ruana Loa Na Menehune. Wait, did I mention that they're undefeated? Squaring off against the reigning nine-time state champs and number three ranked Punahou Buff and Blue. And boy, did this matchup live up to the hype. Starting off in the first set, Punahou's Evan Porter sets the tone for Buff and Blue early with a couple of kills from the outside. Porter continued his dominance all set long, which would leave the Buff and Blue taking the first set 25 to 22. In the second and third sets, Moana Loa's superstar duo of Justin Todd and Kai Rodriguez would quickly switch the momentum in favor of the Menehune. Todd had a match high 22 kills and Rodriguez put up 20 kills of his own. Both were pivotal in the Menehune's push towards taking a 2-1 set lead going into the fourth. But the reigning nine-time state champs flashed their championship pedigree and refused to back down. A mixture of timely hitting by Emmanuel Kinney and Ian Kinney had the Buff and Blue steal a close set for 27-25, leaving the match tied at two. In the fifth and final set, Punahou was just too much for Moana Loa as the Buff and Blue poured it on the Menehune, winning the set 15-11 to win the Battle of the Powerhouses in five sets. With the win, Punahou would try its 10th consecutive state title against the winner of Kamehameha Hawaii and Kamehameha Kapalawa. In the second semifinals of the night, the ILH champs Kamehameha Kapalama faced off with the number 7 ranked Kamehameha Hawaii. The battle of the Kamehamehas was all chaos Kapalama throughout this one. Beginning in the first set, sophomore sensation Kyler Wade continued his dominant season with a hammer from the outside to lead Kamehameha to a 25-16 victory in the first set. In the second, KS Hawaii showed a little fight with kills from Nahi Kapakea Lewis and Micah Wana before KS Kapalama took control of the set and ultimately won 25-15. The third set was more of the same from KS Kapalama as senior outside hitter Easton Kabinian got into the mix with one of his five kills on the night. KS Kapalama wins set 3, 25 to 17 and sweeps KS Hawaii to move on to the HHS AA Division 1 Boys Volleyball State Championship to face Puna Hall for the seventh time this season. They look to win their sixth state championship in school history and first since 2011. In the grand finale of them all, the HHS AA Division 1 Boys State Championship features two of Hawaii's most storied volleyball schools, the Buff and Blue and Warriors. As if a state championship match couldn't get any more exciting, this match marked the seventh time these two teams played each other this year, with each team winning three games. And in their final match of the season, both Punho and Kamehameha came out swinging. A mixture of Emmanuel Kinney and Ian Kinney for the Buff and Blue and Kyla Wade and Heston Kambinian for the Warriors led to an entertaining first set. In the end, Kamehameha would come out with the first set victory, 25-19. In the second set, it was all Kamehameha. In particular, star player Kyler Wade led the charge for the Warriors all set long. One of Wade's match high 30 kills secured the set victory for Kamehameha 25 to 17. In the third set, the tide would change in Punahou's favor. Emmanuel Clinney got things going early in the set with the buff and blue, and Evan Porter added one of his 11 kills late in the set to secure a 25 to 19 fourth set victory for Punahou. The fourth set would be a classic back and forth battle, but two clutch kills from Punahou star outside hitter Emmanuel Clinney would seal the fourth set for the Buff and Blue 25-23 and push the match to a fifth set. It's only right that the seventh and final meeting between Punahou and Kamehameha would end in a dramatic fashion, and that's how it exactly played out. But in the fifth and final set, Punahou's front line being too much for Kamehameha. A couple of huge roots from middle blocker James Tars would springboard Punahou to a 15-9 fifth set victory for the Buff and Blue as they win the match 3 sets to 2. 
In the end, Kunoho would get the last laugh as the Buff and Blue wins the season series against Kumemheo 4-3 and more importantly, hoists up yet another trophy, their 15th championship in the last 17 state tournaments. At the Division II level in the semi-final round, it was the St. Louis Crusaders versus the Aea Na'ali'i at Radford High School. The Crusaders quickly jumped out with a 6-point lead and added to it with two 4-0 scoring runs. Wendo Namohala amassed 6 kills in the first set to help St. Louis to win set 1 convincingly 25-13. The match was far from over though, the Na'ali'i coming back strong in the second set. Aea sustained a 4-point lead through most of the set until the Crusaders tied the game at 18 after another 4-0 scoring run. Tied again at 23, a kill from Aea's Marcus Tawanu and an ace from Daniel Yukitomo Ramos won the Na'ali'i the set and tied the match. St. Louis shook off the last set and was able to win the third, 25-19. The Crusaders' Triton James Satik came up big with a set-high 6 kills and won the set for the Crusaders with an ace. The Crusaders are able to win the fourth set 25-19 and advance to the Division II state championship match. Pupu Sepulona, who was part of the St. Louis basketball team that won the state championship this past year, ended at the match with a team-high 18 kills. The undefeated University Lab Junior Bulls faced the Waimea Menehunes, who were coming off an amazing five-set win against Division II OIA champs Radford. Waimea was leading in the first set 10-6, but the Junior Bulls' energy never wavered. Their student section erupted as UH Lab took the lead for the first time at 18-17 on a kill from Koa Laboy. The Junior Bulls added two points for every point scored from the Menehune. The Junior Bulls secured set 1 25-21. In set 2, a 6-point swing in favor of the Junior Bulls completely shifted the momentum of the game. Originally down 4 points, UH Lab took a two-point lead and sustained it late in the second set, 22-20. Talk about fired up, Koa gets his 14th kill of the match to help the Junior Bulls win set 2, 25-20. With the championship match in sight, the Junior Bulls jumped out to a 7-1 lead in the third set and never looked back. They won set 3, 25-18 and swept the Menehunes to advance to the championship match. For the third time this year, we saw the Junior Bulls against St. Louis. The undefeated UH Lab team handed St. Louis their only two losses of the year. Would tonight be any different for the Crusaders? St. Louis certainly got a favorable start to the match as they win the first set 25-22. UH Lab led for most of the set, but the Crusaders' 6-0 scoring run featuring a pair of kills from Carson Lee gave St. Louis some life. On set point, Rex Pagurigan sets the ball for Pupu who gets his fourth kill of the match. UH Lab buckled down in the second set. Rallying behind Koa Laboy and Josiah Jerome, UH Lab went on an 8-1 scoring run, which carried them to a very important set to win, 25-17. Both teams fought for control of the match as they went back and forth exchanging points. Late in the set, St. Louis extended their one-point lead to five points at 22-17. For the first time this season against UH Lab, the Crusaders led the match two sets to one and were one away from a win. We saw a very determined St. Louis team in the fourth set. They scored first and never relinquished the lead. As hard as the Junior Bows fought to get back in the game, St. Louis seemed to have an answer for just about anything. On the match point for the Crusaders, Pupu picks up his 15th kill and helps St. Louis win their first Division II state championship. Unbelievable! What a state tournament and what a year this has been for high school athletics. It has been a blast covering these state tournaments with Bobby, my boy, and the rest of our crew behind the scenes. Mahalo to Pro City Shopping Center for sponsoring our show. I'm Bobby Best. And I'm Mia Haruzeski. You've been watching The Road to the Ship.